Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks and cool things to add to your Elgato stream deck. This little beauty, if you're a streamer and you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. It has helped me in so many ways and it's helped me run my stream. There are so many really cool things you can do with the stream deck and I'm going to be showing you some of the cool ways I use it. Best way to start off is to install the stream deck software. And there's a little button up top that is the marketplace per se. And this is where you get all your plugins, really, really cool customization options, which I really, really love. All right, let's start with the first one that I find is the easiest to set up and also the most helpful. And that one is gonna be the OBS plugin. And as you can see, there are so many different options for your OBS studio for Stream Deck. You can record, pause, you can start your stream, screenshot, you can change your scenes, change through your sources, visibility, record and pause, which is super helpful if you're recording YouTube videos like this one. And I'll show you some of the options you can do for source visibility. Okay, so I switched over to my big camera. This is my usual streaming camera, just big cam, you know. Also, hi Viking. I hope you enjoy being in the YouTube video. Uh, I will not turn the heat on in the basement. No. So for my big camera, my big stream camera, I have a couple of options. So if I press this button, we got confetti! Yippee! I use this for a lot of stuff, um, special moments, all that fun stuff. And that one's really, really cool. I also have my big zoom for when I want to make emphasis or just stare into chat souls per usual. Um, I also, um, you'll, as you'll see on this page, I have where I can switch through my game scene. My big camera, my BRB, or stream ending. I have all those to where I can switch through just touch of a button, which is all super helpful. And the way to set this one up is really, really easy. So you just pretty much go to scene and you'll click which scene you want to switch it to. Like, let's say I have big camera. And let's add my live scene, which is my gaming scene. So now, once I press one of these buttons, like big camera, We'll switch to my big camera. Easy peasy, same with the live scene. And it's really, really helpful. It helps whenever you wanna just switch screens super duper fast, so that's one of the big ones. I've got different scenes for just, you know, added emphasis if, I, if somebody's saying something or doing a text to speech Spon SpongeBob, which they hate so much, they just, emphasis. <laughs> It also has an audio mixer section, which is really, really good to have as well. So you'll just drag the audio mixer over. So you have multiple different options. So let's say we're doing blur. You can either set the audio, you can have it at different intervals, you can adjust it by specific steps, or you can just toggle mute it. You never know when you need to mute sources or anything like that, or mute your alerts at any point. So that's another good one to have, and that is how you set it up. All right, on to the next part, which is adding the Twitch plugin. There's a lot of good ones on that one as well, so let's hop right into it and I'll show you how to set them up. With the Twitch plugin, you can access pretty much everything. Followers only chat, slow your chat, sub chat, you can check your viewers, you can add your ads onto there. With the chat message one, I use that one for all my commands. I have a majority of my commands on here, including socials, donoing, wishlist. That one's not working, I'll fix that later. TikTok, Discord, my raid messages, and another very important one to put on there is put shield mode on your stream deck. That is my biggest, like you have to put that on there. If stuff goes wrong with your stream, you wanna be able to protect it very, very quickly. So I highly recommend putting shield mode front and center somewhere easy to click, but not, not in a spot where you could accidentally click it. So when you click on it and then go to set it up, you just type in what you wanna put in the chat and so now whenever you click on the button, it'll pop that message up in the chat, but you can change your stream title, your stream category, create stream markers. The Twitch plugin has been a lifesaver for a lot of stuff. It helps whenever I can't tab out of a game and need to like create a clip per se. Oh, oh, that didn't work how I thought it was going to. Now all you gotta do is just reach over and press the clip button. And I think that is the majority of it explained for the Twitch plugin. Now let's get into the fun part, which is the voice mod plugin, which is my favorite. Voice mod's got all the fun stuff to it, okay? Not sponsored. But hit me up, voice mod. Voice mod is a really cool feature that a lot of streamers actually use. 
It has voice changers, it's got the soundboard, and all of these you can add to your stream deck just to mess, you know, just to mess around, all that fun stuff. Now this is VoiceMod. VoiceMod has voices, it's got sounds or soundboards. Everything is really, really cool, and all of this you can add to your stream deck for your streams just to spice them up if you want to. And these are the ones that I have. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Emotional damage! Obviously, gotta have that. Two hours later. That's me while editing this video. These are all the selections you can do with voice mod. You have your voice changer on and off. Activate your voice changer, hear yourself, background effects, random voice, instant sensor beep, your soundboard, all that good fun stuff. And they're very easy to add. You just drag and drop them into the slot you want them. And it's super, super cool. It's a nice little addition to your stream. Emotional damage! And here's just another little extra thing to throw in there. Um, I actually set this up through Mix It Up but I have it set up through my Twitch commands, so whenever a Twitch command goes off, it will trigger this effect, and I just, I can make another video on Mix It Up if you guys want to. I'm not too tech savvy with Mix It Up, but this is just a cool one that I wanted to show you guys. That was so bad. Nobody would be crazy enough to build a boat out of glass. Thank you so much for watching my how-to and tips and tricks for the Elgato Stream Deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and comment down below. If you have any questions, anything else you guys need help with stream-wise, just let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe. Bye!